It's time for episode five of my journey in this year's Emirates FA Cup, and today we're here at Champion Hill to see Dulwich Hamlet take on Folkestone and Victor. There's gonna be thousands of fans here today. I can't wait. This is gonna be so, so good. So let's have a look around and get right into it. have been a part of the Emirates FA Cup for over 100 years now with their first entrance into the competition being in 1919 and they've had some fantastic runs along the way most recently in the 1920 season and they lost to Carlisle United in the first round here at Champion Hill. It's also a club with some fantastic initiatives supporting the local community and also championing young people to get involved with the game on match days too. So I think it's about time I spoke to some Dulwich fans about what this club and this competition means to them. <laughs> So obviously I'm on my journey to Wembley this season. I've did it last season as well, but it's not just me who does the journey from the, first, the extra preliminary round all the way through to Wembley. I'm joined by, would you like to introduce yourself? My name's Tom, I'm the CEO and co-founder of My Road to Wembley. Um, and what we do is we incentivize uh, round hoppers, our members, to attend every single one of the rounds, exactly like Ellis is doing. Speaking of the, the road to Wembley, what is your favorite part of the Emirates FA Cup? Easily, the, these, the earliest rounds are the best part because there are just uh, grounds and there's games and there's uh, clubs that you haven't heard of, you don't know where they are. But my favorite part is looking at the map for every single round to know which is gonna be my local game. I've no idea which game's gonna be in. Today, here I am at Dulwich. The thing is the FA Cup as well, every year there's always that one underdog story. So it'd be nice to see, say we were part of maybe Dulwich's underdog or Folkestone's underdog story as they went on to maybe the third or even the fourth round. Completely, I mean, um, so we're kind of sponsoring the match ball today. We've got to, got to know a few people around the club and Dulwich went all the way to the first round proper a few years ago. It's covered on the BBC. And the level of energy that the FA Cup brings and the level of enthusiasm, belief and hope uh, to so many uh, is very, it's a very tangible feeling. Summer is officially the FA Cup dog. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can get Summer to Wembley. <laughs> so far in each round of the competition so far, I've managed to get some food and I've ranked out of 10. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a league table going forward and then decide which has been the best item of food so far. And this time we've got, this is incredible. This time we've got a taste of Greek with a, a souvlaki. And we've got halloumi in there, we've got pork and we've got chips. Let's give it a try, but I have a feeling it's gonna rank very, very highly. That is incredible. That is a 9.5 out of 10, easily. That is everything I like in the world into one little wrap. Now you can see where it ranks on the table so far as well. Look at that, this is a nice feature going forward and it's gonna take some topping because I love it. I'm in love. <laughs> You might be able to see there that Edgar Kale Way is the road that leads into where Dulwich Hamlet play their games. Edgar Kale was the last player to play for an amateur club and also played in England appearance whilst playing at amateur level. He played for Dulwich Hamlet in the 20s and 30s and also represented England whilst playing in amateur football, which is an incredible fact. Joined by Don from Sydney. Amanda from Sydney. So you came from Sydney today. What, what's brought you to Dulwich Hamlet today? Well, Dulwich Hamlet, we, we knew a friend who is a supporter of Dulwich Hamlet and we promise him next time we're in London, we'll come and watch the boys. Yep. And I also play, used to play, for Dulwich Hill in Sydney. So obviously the Emirates FA Cup is the most historic competition in England. Yep. What are your thoughts on the competition as a whole? I, I, I think, it's, um, I think it's, it's filled with a lot of tradition. We both support Liverpool, even though we'll keep that a bit quiet today. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a proud competition, it's got a lot of history about it, and it's fantastic to come and watch an FA Cup game. And can I finally get a score prediction? 2-1 is the prediction, I think, that we're for the boys. For the yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a bit more out there. I'm thinking the, the Dulwich Hamlet team look in fine form. They're very fit, so I'm thinking a 3-1 prediction for okay. the Dulwich Hamlet today. So I'm joined by... David Rogers. I've been covered here since 2013. I think the first game I came here was when we won the um, promotion to the that's 50 and south. Yes. And then, yes, so I sort of got hooked after that. So It's Emirates FA Cup day. How much, how great is Cup Fever as a fan of Dulwich? I love Cup Fever. Um, last year, I'm hoping for better this year because last year we crashed out of Bedfam, who were two leagues below us. So it was like <laughs> One of our biggest Cup runs recently was when we got through to the first round proper. We played Carlisle United here and we had the BBC and everything down and this place was transformed into really buzzing, heaving mess of a football ground. <laughs> what would a cup run mean to yourself and the club as a whole? 
Well, obviously for the club, but we get the game receipts. That's really good for us. We get a bit of national exposure. That's also good for us. So it also means we can showcase all our community work quite a lot. And yeah, it's, it's good to have for the club. Yeah, just touching on that community work you've mentioned there. Can you talk about the amazing work this club does do in the community? Yeah, we're doing lots of stuff for food banks at the moment. Um, obviously, there's a lot of need for them at the moment, unfortunately. In the past, we've done stuff throughout the community. We did big things for refugees. We did a massive Cali collection when it was all going wrong there. Um, all the community came together to help. And yeah, we, we, we're very much part of the community. And, and finally, can I get your dream FA Cup tie? Oh, dream FA Cup tie. Um, Man City here because I'm a Man City fan as well. <laughs> We've heard a lot from a Dulwich perspective so far, but their opponents today are Folkestone Invicta. Folkestone's best ever run in the Emirates FA Cup came in the 05 06 season, which is widely known as being the Gerrard final when Liverpool went on to win it and Gerrard had an unbelievable game. However, Folkestone also had a memorable run that year as well when they reached the first round proper before eventually losing out to League Two Chester. Folkestone have already won two games to be at this point in the competition so far and they just need two more wins to get through to the first round proper for the first time since 0506. Can they do it today? Let's speak to one or two of their fans. So I'm joined by... Dan. You were just telling me off camera, Dan, you've travelled down from Manchester today. Yeah, yeah, so I wasn't doing anything this weekend and I saw Folkestone playing Dulwich in the FA Cup and we did pretty well last year, got to the fourth quarter. So what would a cup run mean to you as a fan? Uh, I mean, it has been a lot to get to the first round. I think it was way back in... 05, 06. 05, 06, when we played Chester in the first round. Who would your dream FA Cup tie be? Well, for me, <laughs> a nice big league club up north, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or even uh, someone like Wrexham. Finally, can I get a score prediction? Or 2-1, folks. <laughs> Champion Elliot is currently Dulwich Hamlet nil, Folkestone and Victor nil, although Folkestone are now down to 10 men due to two yellow cards. I'll be honest, I didn't see it, but the, the first half's been great. The Dulwich fans have been fantastic, and also been able to hear how great the Folkestone fans have been as well. Like, this game and this competition means so much to both fans, and it's great to see they're both only two wins off equaling their best ever run in the Emirates FA Cup. So, a massive 45 minutes ahead. Let's get into it. Still, still 1-0. Yeah. 
Folks are defending incredibly. Like about ten to go, it's still one 0 Dulwich. No, one 0 Folkestone. But I don't, I don't see Dulwich scoring. Like Folks have defended so well. Dulwich coming forward. It's about five to go. They need to get in. Please, put in. So, through to the fourth qualifying round of the Emirates FA Cup, how good does it feel? It feels very good, a uh, tough game went down to 10 men, but, uh, we managed to get one um, and now we're going to take it to the next round. If you get through the next round and win, it'll be the joint best run the club has ever had, did you know that? Yeah, 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 hopefully we can even beat that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So you do beat that and go on a run, who would be your dream tie? Um, one of the best sides in the Prem, Man City or Man United, someone, someone yeah. like that, yeah. And beat them? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Is the magic of the FA Cup still there at this level? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's an important competition. Anyone can beat anyone, but um, you know, you've got to carry that into your league form as well. So we've got a big game on Tuesday and we've got to make sure that we don't lose the uh, lovebirds of the FA Cup and yeah. <laughs> go and lose in the league. So we've got to make sure we're on top of our game still. Your noise and best of luck for the rest of the run and hopefully you do beat the, the best ever run. <laughs> Cheers, thank you very much. Full time here at Champion Hill and that is what the Emirates FA Cup was all about. Folkestone came in the underdogs, went down to 10 men early and defended phenomenally and then find themselves into the fourth qualifying round of the Emirates FA Cup and if they win one more game will match their best ever run in their club's history of this competition. Unbelievable. I'm loving this journey so far. If you are be sure to leave a like on this and make sure to subscribe to the Emirates FA Cup YouTube channel so you don't miss any games throughout the rest of my journey on the road to Wembley. We're at the fourth qualifying round next and I am very excited. I'll see you then. Bye.